Hey guys, I would really love for you to like, to subscribe, to share, to comment below. Let's get a conversation started with us. I'd really appreciate it. And whatever the amount of likes that I get is the amount of money that I want to be putting into the Montserrat Fund for next week. So I add up all the likes from the video and I aim to make that much with me side hustles for my Montserrat trip with the kids. So you're kind of setting the precedence for me to save. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, how are you? So I am just about to go into Tesco and it's going to be me first. I'm going to hit, hit the top five supermarkets in Ireland today, which is Tesco, Super Value, Dunn's, Aldi and Little. And what I'm going in there for is I'm going to find out your tomatoes from your tomatoes. You know yourself. You guys voted that as your second second vital pantry ingredient it's a staple for you guys how very continental <laughs> is this ireland my auntie said that when she was my aunties actually the both of them were at a party sesh mats <laughs> in the house um but they were saying that when they were young their mom um you know she was very they were they're in their 50s now did I say that? Anyway, did I say that? When they were young, they were saying, my mom was very adventurous. She used to be making spaghetti bolognese. And I was like, what? <laughs> spaghetti bolognese? <laughs> That's adventurous. But she was like, yeah, in Ireland, like that was almost unknown of, unheard of. I was like, what? Your mom is mad. She's making up that spaghetti bolognese. Now it's just something that we have every single week. And it just really goes to show you, like, you know, how diverse Ireland actually is. We think, sometimes we think, okay, the, the menu is very boring or whatever. But listen, lads, 40 years ago, you didn't know your spag from your what? <laughs> Never mind your spag from your bolognese, okay? So I'm going to go in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some varieties of chopped tomatoes. Tin tomatoes, tin tomatoes, Santos. I'm going in and I'm going to get some varieties of tin tomatoes and I'm going to be telling you what basically is value for money. Because sometimes we think cheapest is best, but is it really best? Is it? I'm going to spill the tea. Now let me go in here. It's raining out there. I have a lovely little dress, little sandals on me. What was I thinking? <sighs> So the first shop I'm in is Tesco and we're looking at the, you have all the brand and you know, obviously when it comes to tin tomatoes or any type of preserved tomatoes, Italy takes the lead because this is their baby. Um, what I'm going to look at here, we can see straight away there's a price match between Aldi and Tesco for the tomato passata, but what we're looking at is anytime you're buying it in general, you're looking at this. You want to look at the price per kg all the time to know exactly. So you could see here we have 142 grams of tomato puree. And I'm going to explain what all these are. And I'm also going to put it in a blog. So you could see that you have 142 grams of tomato puree. So that's 388 per kg. And then you have this in the same thing again, but it's just in a tube because it's easier. And that's actually 325 per kg. So you could see there's a bit of a difference there. The tube actually works out um, cheaper than the tin. And I will, I actually will buy one of these just so I can show you what they are. Okay, so I'm down at my chopped tomatoes and these are Tesco's own and these are the chopped tomatoes. But what we're looking for is at the back. We're looking to see how much tomatoes is actually in it. So okay this is zooming away okay where are we so you can see here in the ingredients that is um 65 percent of tomato so sometimes you could actually be getting the cheaper version but this is what you're looking for you want to make sure that you're literally getting as much tomatoes in your tin as possible and then we're looking at in there you have the tomato juice acid acid regulator this is one what that is is they usually put that in so when they chop the tomatoes it stays firm and it doesn't look misshapen by the time you get it or you know yourself if you're chopping tomatoes it could actually look like smudge when you are doing it so that's why you have the acid regulator in there and once again we're looking at price per kg rather than just buying the normal tomatoes 
So this is a Tesco chopped tomatoes and that is 55 cents. And I'd like to add as well, that's a 400 grams. Most recipes will ask you for a 400 grams, but um, that's what that one is. For some reason, I actually really love these ones as well. I like I like this brand because I don't even know why. It must be the way the tomatoes are, are vine ripe. Vine ripe. Uh, let me just see what it has here at the back. Well, I guess I spot the difference there. Um, although these are chopped tomatoes as well, there's no acid. There's no citric acid acid um, regulator in it. So maybe that's why I like it because it's 100% tomatoes and that's why it tastes. You could taste the difference in your cooking. Okay, so these ones are my absolute faves. I know that everybody loves the chopped tomatoes, um, but I really think that the plum tomatoes, um, they are unreal. And these are called Roma tomatoes, tomatoes as well. And they're peeled plum, but basically, if you didn't have chopped tomatoes, you could actually substitute this in almost everything. You could use it for your passata, you could use it for your tomato puree. You could use it for your tomato paste. and um, You can use all that. And I think what I'm going to do is actually going to take some of these and I'm going to show you how to make all of the above that I was saying. But I actually love plum tomatoes because of their versatility. Um, the next one is, this one though, it's only 60% tomatoes in there. So, and then there's the acid regulator. Let's see if you can do better than that. So this is the growers harvest but that is cheaper as well that's 35 cents for which is 87.5 per kg so that's 35 cents for a 400 gram tin let's go and see the other one okay so here's another plum tomatoes um another plum a peel plum tin and guys there's two ways of actually that that the growers and the manufacturers would actually um peel it tomorrow some of them they put it in like a caustic soda bath almost and it's hot and then they'll rinse it off but this is actually how you would do it um that's a 400 kg and that's 65 percent so tomatoes and that's what we're actually trying to beat um and then this is made with plum tomatoes okay so this is what the one i would usually get anyway and um, if i'm in the shop this is the one that i would get week in week out and um, whether it be here aldi little this is probably i kind of go for the mid-range one as well guys another thing i would say to you is um don't be afraid if you're making something like a chili con carne and or a vegetable chili or something like that which is rich in vegetable and um, I wouldn't be so fussy if you could only afford the 35 cent one just get it and throw it in because it doesn't matter because that's going to be so nutrient rich anyway that the 5% won't matter and it probably would be worth the 35 cent instead of 45 or 55 cent this is to show I'm really in Tesco's okay so yeah we like that one oh I forgot to tell you there's another way of actually peeling it as well you could do the steam peel which is you just basically steam it and then peel the, potato, the tomatoes off the skin. I keep saying potato, potato, tomato, tomato, never stuck. And just for the sake of my theory, you have the Roma, there's a whole peeled plum tomatoes as well, and they're only 60% in tomatoes in the tin. So it's not really like, and you still have the acid, the acidity regulator, you have the citrus acid in there as well just the same as you have the Tesco one so I would be I'd love to I'm actually gonna buy one of these and I'm gonna buy the Tesco one just to see which one looks and tastes different I don't know I don't know how good my taste buds are but it'd be good another thing I'd say to you guys is look at this one you're gonna buy whole okay let me just go Roma Roma versus Roma okay so you have the chopped tomatoes in a tomato sauce and that's 169 but then you have the chopped tomato with garlic and herb lads garlic and herbs like it's an extra 10 cent every time you buy something that's something added to it so i would say literally just put your own garlic in and put your own herb in and just spend the tenner less spend the 10 cent less because if you have that in your house anyway it's not it's not going to add that much to it but anyway i'm going to pick up a few of these and then i'm going to show you um at home. You can see in the background that I'm just that little now. Um, I was going to do the whole filmy walking in, but I got mortified in Tesco for some reason. God, hate those tag bits. Oh my God, guys. So, 
just after coming back from Tesco there and what I've learned um okay I knew this already but I'm just gonna pretend that we're in this together because we kind of are for the most part but I didn't know this does that make sense I don't know but what I've learned guys is Italians don't mess you know they don't mess they're like mm-hmm 100% certified, sun ripened, made in Italy. Don't be trying to fool you. No one can fool you. And this is what you're paying a little bit extra for. Like this tin is one fifty nine. I was looking at the wrong ingredients in there because I was just a bit afraid. And I was like, where, where is it? Like I usually know. But anyway, there's 98% tomatoes in here. Look, with the cost of everything, 60%, it isn't that bad. But it's something that for years I was like, I, I like them tomatoes. I, I like my spaghetti like you know if you're gonna be making it for your boo and you're gonna be like doing some fancy sauce you know you'd go and get the old pulpa you know you'd go hey i'm bringing it all out now i'm here with me one year on 59 10 for you that's what i'm thinking but um like you do pay pay for quality um some parts i was looking at roma and i was like what do you mean you're gonna charge me that for for 60 percent and it just shows that once you do your marketing as uh once you do your marketing and you have people's perception of who you are and what you are and you use the right words and um, we're gonna still buy into it but if we just looked across and see like oh my god tesco is actually 65 percent if i bought this and i'm getting 65 percent of tomatoes in here if i bought this i'm gonna just get 60 percent here then why am i paying an extra you why am i paying that You know what, like my auntie used to say, I'm going to put some crab in my pocket when it comes to buying my chopped tomatoes and my tinned tomatoes. But as you know, the old plum tomatoes are my favourite because they're so versatile. Anyway, let me get my booty into little now and get this all sorted. <laughs> Guys, here's the passata there in Little, and um, we have it right there. Then we have, um, I actually love the cherry tomatoes, um, and these were 119. Where are they? Um, cherry Italian tomatoes. These were 119, and that's what they were in Tesco. Let's see the back and see actually how much tomatoes are in each of them. Okay. Okay, so we have the peel tomatoes and then we have 39.9% of tomato juice. We have the acidity regulator and the citric the citric acid still in there. I don't know why that's kind of zooming out. Um, I didn't see um, tomato um, juice in there. I wonder why, what's the difference here? If anybody knows that, if you can comment below because before we didn't see that at all. And this is like the kind of basic brand there. That's 35 cents, similar to the one that we saw in Tesco. And the next one is mm, okay, these are Italian tomato, and you can see ingredients this is just tomato and tomato juice. So, this is interesting. Let me see, let's go down. Give me a second, let me get this out first, guys. I have to say, the cherry tomatoes, like, I can't see exactly how much is it. So, I'm thinking this is all that's in it, but I want to know like the percentage of what tomatoes are in there and what tomato juice are out there i'm thinking it probably didn't need the acidity regulator because cherry tomatoes are quite sweet i don't know i'm like help me out but anyway we weren't even looking for cherry tomatoes i just love them but they were 120 in tesco anyway and they are 89 cent here so one to notice to note um oh this is organic passata where's the normal passata oh it seems like a, i don't know I feel like I'm feeling they're actually using um, Italian cherry tomatoes. So I wonder how they come in because they're packaged in Tala. But anyway, made from some writing Italian. I'm telling you, if I went to Italy, I'd be like, Mama, can I taste your? Oh, okay, 60% there. 60% there. Remember, guys, 65% is the one to beat. Oh, here's the posh one. This is the Bunalin organic. I can never pronounce that. Um, and this is chopped tomato. And we are paying one nineteen for that. Need one second. So we could see like this one has uh, just tomato and tomato juice. It doesn't have the acidic regulator in it, but it also doesn't have the percentage of tomato. Because what you don't want, like I'm tempted to bring this home and actually weigh it out 
outside of the juice just to see how much tomato is actually in this tin and um, I'd love a little bit more information on that to be honest but look when you're broke it's like one one nineteen, so 45 cent 45 cent one nine yeah well I could get nearly three tins of these for that so I'd like to know because that's actually sun ripened as well and um, I'd like to know exactly how much is in it is it more than 60 percent of the tomato where is it yeah so yeah little i'm gonna get which one i'm gonna get do i want to <laughs> i feel like i'm just doing it i end up doing a shop here but this is like the i'm gonna get that one because it looks it looks like it might be decent and i'm gonna get um just because i didn't i got this in tesco already so i don't think i need to get that um yeah I wonder, like, I wonder why they put in the tomato juice and they didn't put it in the ones in Tesco. I know it's just an ingredient thing, but I wonder, do they put that in the Tesco ones anyway and then they just don't say that? Um, I don't know. And then I'm like, you say, like, I'm looking at the Passata here and I know that's the difference of something that we're looking for. Oh, that's really good. The Passata is 99% tomatoes. Um, that's really good, actually really good and I know a few people say you know the tomato sauce and um, but I'm gonna actually show you how to by the end of this week I'll show you how to make a nice basic tomato sauce instead of paying paying like 209 for the dalmias or I know it's 53 cent but this is what you're not paying for this is what you're not seeing when you see the ingredients list of what I just showed you let me just get this up for you this is the additional in it and I feel like when you're doing it yourself you don't need to put the modified maize of starch you're putting your own onion you're putting your own everything in there and um, there's no you know what I mean I feel like when you're making it from scratch you could really make you could bulk it out as well I'm shown here so you can see the prices of everything there so when I'm editing the video I'll be able to show you exactly what I'm finding there you can add your own spices to that and it still wouldn't be as much and that's why um, that's where you're gonna save money on and I know a lot of people say sad they don't have the time but if you make it one day this is me just fighting for this if you make it one day guys you can literally have that forever just freeze it and add it to your pan whenever you feel like it and um, I'd say that with the white sauce as well but we're not here about that right now well no a few people had that and that was a pantry staple I'd say what was more of a staple is getting your tin tomatoes making your sauces maybe once a month and then having that for maybe two months on and you will save a fortune just think about it 500 grams and you could literally buy four tins how many tins you could buy one two, three four you could buy four tins 400 gram tins of chopped tomatoes or plum tomatoes and make that up more if you're buying the basic um, 35 cent tin which is not bad it's still like 60 percent tomatoes in them and um, something like this i'm not gonna lie guys lloyd grossman he has one and i'm absolutely obsessed with it i can't make it like the way he does i don't know what's in it but it must be the the actual tomatoes but it's really nice it tastes like almost fresh tomatoes like mama made it that day yeah so this one is where are we this one is actually a nice one as well um and you could see like it's tomato tomato puree which is basically tomato like we could make all that at home ourselves couldn't we <laughs> except without um yeah we could make that at home ourselves but yeah okay Oh God, I just had to make in a video. <laughs> I just did a little quick um, story for Instagram. And I was like a pain in me who. I love that saying. I'm like, why do you saying this wrong? Because my friends, I do say things and my friends are looking at me like, what's she talking about? What you mean? What you mean? Anyway. Some Irish sayings that I really love, like having a pain in me hoop. Like, and there's a few of them knock your lights out like i love like i'm like yeah i love that one <laughs> if i was to be an action hero i'd be like i'm gonna knock your lights out anyway guys i am going into aldi now 
So let's see what they have. Can I buy any more fucking tomatoes? I don't know. But I didn't say the F word. I said in Ireland, this is what I love as well. Instead of the U, we're going to drop the U and put the E in there. And we're going to call it a clean version of the F word. Okay. And we're all happy. <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. Okay, first things first. This is the first thing that was in front of me. Um, let me fix the tripod there. The first thing that was in front of me was the cherry tomatoes, and they're eight. They were eighty-nine cent in little, and in Aldi they are ninety-nine. And it's saying a sixty percent tomatoes, and then the juice. So that's why I was wondering with the little one, like how much exactly, how much in tomato is this? If I was to drain it out, how much tomatoes am I gonna have in the tin? But it's eight ninety-nine percent, and I actually just love that tra transparency more than anything. Um, what's this? 85 cent okay this was something that i wanted to really bring up lads like look at the ingredients in here like the 65 percent tomatoes right then you have your juice then you have actually sugar in it because yeah and then you have um dried basil we could have that at home you have oregano we can have that at home so basically you're paying an extra this is chopped tomatoes with chunky chopped tomatoes with herbs but let's just go and look for the normal chopped tomatoes um Where are we? It's 45 cents here um, without herbs. So you're telling me that it costs you 45 cents to throw a bit of sugar, 40 cents to throw a bit of sugar, oregano, and dried basil in? I think not. I think not, my friend. So if this is something that you'd be normally getting, I'd say try and cut back and get, just get the normal one and then just have your herbs at home. I know a lot of people would have herbs as a pantry staple, so I think it's definitely worth getting it. Now we have, obviously, all the supermarkets are doing the same thing. So the chopped tomatoes, um, they are 35 cents. And look, I'm not gonna lie, some weeks I've had to get them. And the plum are 35 cents. I'd say over these two, I'd probably get the plum just because, you know, they're the least processed. So you could get them whole. Because I, like, I don't know if these are even plum tomatoes in here. And we already know that the Roma tomatoes are the ones that they make great sauces anyway. Um, this is 60% in it as well though um, that's not bad actually it's 60% in this one um, let me see what's this now okay we're, now we're talking here there's 70% there's 70% here I don't think we've beaten 70% and there are and this is 45 cents as well so it's it's good to see like the Tesco price match, but we want to make sure we're getting the quality match as well. And then we don't know, like I'd love to know like what tomatoes these are exactly. And like I say, I'd love to know how much stabilizer, um, how much um, acidity regulator is in there. I'd love to know everything. Um, but yeah, I'd say this is probably 39% tomato juice in it. Um, 29% tomato juice for sure. What do I know? If anybody does work in a factory or at if you can comment um, below and let us know. Just to know I'm in a real supermarket. And here we are again. There's my friends, but they're not telling us. They're not telling us exactly. Mm-hmm. 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 Kind of love that though. But does that mean that all the other ones have it in it? Because surely they should be showing. Junior mouth. So they, because they're highlighting some bits there, but I'm like, hmm. Tomato juice, organic origin, no salt, no added sugar, gluten free. Okay. So is are they secretly adding sugar in these ones? Like. I always think when somebody highlights something like what they're trying to say but look I don't know why I feel like I'm very negative against that brand but I'm not but anyway 70% tomatoes in this one not bad 45 cent definitely good value okay let me see what else so this is interesting lights and this is why I love buying plum tomatoes because you could end up making tomato puree out of the plum tomatoes um, like 
I know you could do it with the chopped, but I just think at least you know that they're good quality Roma for the tomatoes. And then somebody told me before that, but this is, lad, this is here saying now, that the chopped tomatoes are just bits left over of the plum tomatoes that didn't make the cut. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just, but it makes sense, doesn't it? Um, sorry, that's zooming out. But anyway, let me see what I'm going to get here. I'm going to get the passata here, although... Oh God, I'm getting confused. Was the little one cheaper? I'll have to go back and check um, and I'll just correct this, but I'll get it here anyway because I want you to see what I'm getting. Well, lads, this is why I always say avoid the middle aisle. I came in for one thing and one thing only, tomatoes, and I'm literally eyeing up <laughs> a pool. And guys, you've seen my balcony. There's nothing, there's no room for it. And a fire pit. And like me and the kids could be toasting marshmallows. But it's really cool actually. Let me, let me show you. It's not bad. But not needed. Avoid the middle aisle. You'd be coming in for tomatoes and getting a pool and a barbecue. We're in super value now and you can see there's a huge difference here in price. Um, the chopped tomato is 77 cents, um, but, but it's 65% um, percent tomatoes actually in them. So that's not bad at all. Um, but 77 cents, oh, that's, 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 that's a lot. Um, I'm looking to see if they have plum tomatoes um, with their own range, but it doesn't seem like it. It's just all you could see there, guys. It's just a chopped tomato, um, which is 1.93 per kg. That's quite a bit, considering I was looking at, you know, 88 cent per kg. That is quite a bit. Um, I'm even looking here now. No, that is not Super Value own brand. I'm thinking that's 65 cent. Um, and then we have the like passata, which is a tomato puree that's 150, but that's a brand as well. And um, these ones in here as well, you know, me all friends here. This is the whole, I don't know if the chop that's 155. It's it's quite a difference, lads, um, in price. And I, yeah, it's quite a different say no more I say no more okay so there's quite a difference here a bit of a jump here now when you have the chopped tomatoes at 77 cent um, compared to 45 cent that we are seeing and this is the home brand they don't have the plum tomatoes which is usually no it's 55 cent is normally the chopped and then you have 45 cent um, but they don't have the plum tomatoes here as their own brand so I can't see the difference here and um, I know we have the Roma one say four sixty nine, but we already went into Roma there already. Oh, Super Value have the tree pack there. Um, actually no price there on the tree pack. Um, let me just see what else we have here. There's not loads I have to say now. Um, oh they have the pulpa. We do love them. We do love a bit of pulpa. Um, there it is there. Um, what's next? Wow, these are a difference in price now. They're 155 here. Um, let me just see. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick on these anymore <laughs> because they're organic, and you know, like, look, it is what it is. Organic. Like, if I was growing food, that's how I'd be aiming to grow it, and it probably is a little bit more when you're not buying all the pesticides and all of sprays to put on your tomatoes, you know. And um, let me just have a look there. Yeah, that's all we have. Oh, we have that I think I'll just have to buy it just to show it to be honest um, but yeah big difference big difference Guys, I just want to say that when I did go and check in with super value it was only 45 cent for the tin of tomatoes so that was really good okay bye yeah, so there wasn't a lot. I don't know whether it's just, I'm into super value in North side shopping center I don't know whether it's um it's just not a lot there or what but I'm up here and I'm gonna go to Dunn's now and see what they have there the way the layout is in Dunn's is a little bit weird because you have like the pasta here and you have the tomato sauce there and you have like the sauces there and you have more sauces there well let's go right around okay so Disney pal there <laughs> good old pulpa <laughs> okay and um, passata 50 cents 
think 45 cent was the lowest that we got um, and then you have the Romas there center stage middle you remember we were talking about lowest to the highest um, and this is like the middle aisle this is nice eye level let's go and get it the specials be there the the brands are there but there you go anyway let's go down here now and um, we're gonna look at the pulpit and that looks yep yeah, there we are good quality good quality and then we're looking down at don't is this for real is this for real is this for real is this for real 65 cent here 89 <laughs> I have to buy this because the last time I was in Super Value and I thought I said uh, 79 cent and it was only 45 cent for the chopped tomato when I bought it so I'm gonna just I have to buy this just to see the cherry tomato that's on point that's the cheapest that's like the little price that's all right and um, chopped tomato here chopped tomato with garlic a euro and then chopped tomato with herbs 89 cent I just I can't get over the difference in the price here with this 89 cent I have to buy that just to see and I'm just gonna buy one with uh, herbs as well because maybe I'm reading this wrong along the way because that's probably what I did let's get one with the herbs as well and just see what price it is no actually that's the same that's the same as it's it's 85 in Aldi wasn't it so that's all right um I'll get it with garlic and just see now let's get a normal one and see for the sake of having it at home again now um I'll probably just donate them anyway but yeah I can't get over that but look that's that's uh, no I can't I can't say anything to this to be honest I'm gonna go over and see if they have any in the everyday the everyday now okay so this is the other aisle with the Roma there but there we have the everyday savers you know I'm gonna buy one of these and just see Jesus wrecking the gap I'm gonna buy one of these and see um just what it's like open it up so you can see um what the difference is with the everyday and then the normal god but um 35 cent that's some difference on 39 cent to a euro so jesus christ anyway that's it there guys and um, i hope you've got a good overview i'll come and have a chat with you now back in the studio aka the gaff um but yeah that's what we have here god yeah anyway so guys, you might be thinking, Sanders, it's only 10 cent here, 10 cent there, and a little bit more in other places. It's not that big a deal. I'm not that invested. Well, you should be invested, guys, because every single week, what you're spending money on is for your store cupboard essential. I did I did this um, in my stories. I asked you out straight, and you said chopped tomatoes were your second most popular store cupboard staple. So you should be looking to save money, just like with your budget, with the wall family, you know, your heat and your, 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 heat and your electricity, your mortgage. You should be always looking at ways to cut and save money on that. It's the same here with the likes of chopped tomatoes this is something that you're gonna buy week in week out you should be getting the best value for your money at all times and now 35 cents if you were to buy two tins of this for 35 cents every single week you bought two tins and say we went in 52 weeks of the year that's gonna cost you 36 40 every single year fair enough but what if you went up and it was 45 cents you are buying that's gonna cost you 46.80 every single year towards your food shop that's what you're spending on chopped tomatoes and that's that's another way of doing an overview and knowing what you're spending on those basic staples that you go in and out and buy all the time cue the drilling thank you neighbors and um, the next one is peel plum tomatoes from dawn this is 89 cent guys 89 cent that's costing you now this is a jump that's costing you 92.56 every single year in your food shop when you could be getting it for 36 40 or you could be getting it for 46 80 that's a big difference say you went and you spent 55 cent for it where is it where is it where is it I don't have it there you found you spent 55 cent for it guys i would say 
that's 5720 that's still so much left but say you bought the gun store for the simply special simply better deluxe range and you were to spend you know one euro and you bought two tins of chopped tomato every week that is gonna cost you 104 euro every year that's almost 70 euro more than you'll be spending if you were to buy the simply the basic one that's a lot of money if you add up every store store covered ingredient like that that's a lot of money you're spending guys and I think it's well worth looking at. So which one do I think is best value for money? I would say it's the Aldi chopped tomato with 70 cent of fruit in it. I think it's just a little bit more and it's not a crazy, it's like, it's not a crazy high peak, you know? Um, I do like, I did buy this one and I was impressed. It was 129. If you're doing for a special occasion, you're going to get like, I know I've cooked with this and I, you could taste the difference. So that's really nice. But look, I would not be turning up my nose at 35 cent. You know, the basic, the simply basic, uh, chopped tomatoes. I wouldn't be turning up my nose on that 60% of peeled chopped tomato in there. Um, still nothing. But if I was to really go for value from money, I would always get the basic plum. I think the basic plum is just so versatile. You can make so much with this. Once you have this, you basically have this. You have this. You have this. Oh, next one. You have this. Thank you so much, guys. And I hope you'll join me in the next video where I'm going to actually show you what everything looks like and how one thing goes to another. Okay? Bye.